This week, we're gonna continue our work with collage and Henri Matisse. So I wanted to read this book to you called Matisse's Garden by Samantha Friedman. Matisse's Garden. One day, the artist, Henri Matisse, cut a small bird from a piece of white paper. It was a simple shape, but he liked the way it looked and didn't want to throw it out, so he pinned it on the wall of his apartment to cover up a stain. The bird seemed lonely by itself, so Matisse cut out more shapes which joined the bird on the wall. As he cut shape after shape from the white paper, he thought about a trip he had taken many years before to the island of Tahiti. The shapes looked like the birds, fish, and seaweed he had seen there. As his scissors glided through the paper, he thought about how a bird must feel when it flies. As he cut, Matisse felt like he, too, was flying. Soon his walls were covered with plant and animal shapes. They captured the feeling of soaring and the sensation of swimming, but they didn't convey the bright blue of the sky or the deep blue of the sea. So he made a new work, this time pinning his white forms to sheets painted azure, that's blue, and marine blue, so different kinds of blue. When he saw how the color brought his shapes to life, he asked his assistants to paint sheets of paper in a range of shades, from vermilion, that's a kind of green, to lemon, to violet. Instead of using only white paper, he decided he would make his shapes by cutting directly into color. He tried a pink leaf against a background of orange and a green leaf against a background of black. He cut leaves of other hues and set them against backgrounds of every shade, experimenting with different harmonies and contrasts, the way the colors played with and against each other. Matisse cut and cut. The leftover paper fell to the floor. He realized that every shape he cut created another shape. Instead of throwing away the leftover pieces, he added them to the composition. That's how your paper is set up. They weren't leftovers at all. Sometimes the shapes he cut were simple, like squares. But when he arranged them in just the right way, they took flight like a swarm of bees. He composed his shapes, that means he put them together, to show familiar scenes like a woman in a room with a vase of flowers. and he turned familiar objects into simple forms, which he then composed into patterns. His cutouts started very small and got larger, and then larger, as large as a wall until they stretched across the walls of his studio, curving around corners and covering doors. Matisse realized happily, I have made a little garden around me where I can walk.
And for his garden, Matisse cut a small bird from a piece of blue paper. The end. So this week, if you already tried a Matisse collage, you can work on it a little longer. If you didn't try the collage or you want to try something new, we can get inspired by what we learned about Mr. Matisse. How can you use your scraps in a new collage? Or how can you start a new collage on a colorful background and use colors that work well with your background or do crazy things to your eyes when the colors mix and match? Um, in school, we're gonna have those little pieces of paper, those little colored papers. So if you want to start on one of those as your background and make some mini collages, that might be pretty fun. You can use small white papers at home too. Um, you can also extend your collage even further by adding more materials. How can you put drawing or painting into your collage to make it even better. Remember, artists push themselves to keep working on their artwork to make it really awesome. So don't stop right away after you cut and glue just a few shapes. How can you add more to make it the best that it can be? Good luck. Bonus video of Mrs. Oh my goodness, what a big yawn. She got this new sunny seat and she loves it. Look at her. She loves it. Right, Shrub? What a pig. <laughs>